Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have informed about Ministry of Defense decision to amend the RFP for Project 25I for the removal of clause joint and severe liability from the tender which means that the foreign partner will only be responsible and liable for their work share in the project and not for their strategic partner's work share. This seems to be a positive news as German seems to make comeback in the race of submarine project. The other two vendors which are already part of the race are Nevencia from Spain and DSME from South Korea. Recently, speaking to the New Indian Express, the Spanish ambassador to India said, India is considering buying submarines and several countries including Spain are taking part in the tender. Spain considers Nevencia offer is very competitive in terms of quality, cost, transfer of technology and indigenization. Nevencia would be in charge of providing the Indian Navy with state-of-art conventional air-independent propulsion submarines if Indian government considers the offer. So, in today's video, we will explore the S80 plus capabilities and try to find out if it fits into the Project 25i requirement of Indian Navy. The S80 Plus is the latest class of submarine being built by Spanish shipbuilding company Nevencia. The submarine was designed in late 90s and was redesigned in mid 2010. Spain has planned to construct four submarines of this class with the lead vessel of this class S81 has already completed its first trial and initial sea trial in mid 2022. It is expected to enter service by 2023. The remaining submarines of this class, that is S82, 83 and 84, will complete its construction and trials by 2027. S80 Plus, as claimed, is highly automated submarine with state-of-art platform control system developed by Nevencia system which allows it to be operated by a reduced crew of 32 sailors and 8 seats for boarding additional personnel capable of reaching a diving speed greater than 90 knots and a maximum depth of immersion greater than 300 meters. It is approximately 80 meter long and 7 meter in diameter and has a submerged displacement close to 3000 tons. The characteristic of this class of ship places them at a level close to those of nuclear propulsion. One of the major requirements of Project 25 i where Indian Navy is not ready to compromise is proven AIP system. The S80 Plus is powered by three 1200 kilowatt bioethanol engines, one 3500 kilowatt main electric engine and one 300 kilowatt AIP system. Its AIP is a third generation anaerobic AIP propulsion called BEST bioethanol stealth technology which consists of bioethanol reformer to produce hydrogen which in turn react with oxygen in the fuel cell generating electricity. This system allows to extend autonomy of submarine in immersion up to 3 weeks at a submerged speed of 4 knots which substantially reduces its level of detectability. The IP system developed for submarine has completed its final test only in February 2020. Therefore, the first two submarines of this class that is S81 and 82 is not fitted with AIP system and will be retrofitted during their first major overhaul. So technically, S80 plus submarine is yet to have an operational AIP. The submarine incorporates a combat system developed by Nevencia in collaboration with US company Lockheed Martin with ability unique among the conventional submarines with similar characteristic to launch tactical land attack missiles. In August last year, Nevencia performed official combat system test on S81. The submarine features six 533mm torpedo tubes which can fire DM-2A4 heavy torpedoes or UGM-84 Sea Harpoon Block 2 and UGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missile. The submarine is fitted with active and passive sonars with accurate electromagnetic detection system. The submarine can communicate via Link 11 and Link 22 data links. Now, interesting part, if we compare Calvary class submarine with S80+, there is no much significant difference which I can see in terms of capabilities. Both the boats are fitted with 6 533mm torpedo tube which can fire heavier torpedoes or anti-ship missiles or cruise missiles. 
both the boards offer endurance close to 50 days. Calvary class has a range of 12,000 km at a speed of 8 knots when surfaced and 1,020 km at 4 knots when submerged. SAT Plus has endurance of 8,000 km. However, when we compare their size, S80 Plus is much bigger submarine than Calvary class with displacement close to 3,200 ton when surfaced while Calvary class submarine has displacement of just 1,615 tons. Having lesser displacement and smaller size, Calvary class submarine have smaller footprint overall. Further, Calvary class needs less powerful propulsion system which contributes for most of the acoustic sound which attracts torpedoes. Therefore, Calvary class seems to be much stealthier than S80+. Both submarines are not having any operational fuel cell based EIP system which is primary requirement of Indian Navy and these submarines will get it only after their first major overhaul. The first boat under Calvary class submarine is said to be retrofitted with the DRDO's fuel cell based EIP in 2025. Therefore, in my opinion, Calvary class submarine is still a proven and a better choice for Indian Navy than S80+. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.